Hello and welcome to the first round of the World Super Sex Series Season 2 and for the first time the Touring Pro Series is using Game Stock Car as its dedicated game for the series and the opening round here is at Jacka Rapagua on the Curve Assault layout around this wonderful Brazilian circle which is going to be demolished in real life pretty soon. Pole position was Tommy Nielsen ahead of his teammate Talamese. Third and fourth is reigning champion Jack Keithley. Fourth place there is Damien Henderson. Fifth place Chris Butcher. Sixth place Alex Sene. Seventh place Visa Muller for THR. So that's 567 THR. Eighth place Callan for TPS Sim Racing. Ninth place is Adrian Norton. Rounding out that top ten was Kenneth Yeoman for F1 Classic. And here is the start of the race. Everybody forming up two by two. Rolling start as we can see in a wave from the grid. They go. Look like a good start there from Jack Cleethy trying to nose down the inside between Nielsen and Calamese. Calamese has the inside. Callan squeezing between Butcher and Sene. Oh, off in the background there looks like a couple of the back markers involved in incident back there. They all pretty much fouled through without too much incident. Here is a replay. I think this is on the incident back at the grid. That's a great start there from Ferrero number 37 on board with him now. Oh, it's JJ Wang who hits the back of him and slides around again. He's hit the other side and JJ Wang slides on. Almost makes contact with one of the THR blue cars there as well. Just about got away with it, but for 36 cars, they did pretty well to get through that tight corner first of all. Now, we are on board, looking forward to this battle. Here, oh, there's JJ Wang, the track has gone across on Scott Webber and gone back across the track again. Oh, he hit one of the TDU cars. I think that must have been Kevin Enderman or maybe Mike Bell. And he's gone off himself there. He's disappeared into the gravel trap. So, his aggressive opening lap has paid dividends for him. Not a good, good way at all. There's Sene going wide at the, at the first corner. And now Butcher has the run as a result. Butcher has the run out of the corner. Carl steps out on the power to tries to get the power to the ground. And now he may be on the push to pass. This comes down towards turn two, the fast left-hander. Third gear briefly up into fourth gear. Halfway around and he slid past his teammate, Alex Sene. Back in the pack now, here is Paulini. Fourth. And... Warren and Warren right in the middle of this battle. Number 77, number 16 is squeezed between the two. Uh, that's a great move there from Brandon Warren. A great driver from all three drivers there. Not to be involved in incident. Paulini now holding the inside from fourth. And the Tamash, the Hungarian, has been squeezed out to the side of the track. And Paulini comes across, takes the line. But Warren somehow managed to get, out, get away with that middle ground feel. As we see the lead pack as they go past on that fourth lap. Calamy still leading. Here is Bell and Schwartz. Back in the field, Schwartz to the outside at turn two. It's gone quite deep. Bell's gone quite tight, though. This could pay dividends for Schwartz on the exit. Bit of momentum off the corner. Number 99, Schwartz for Daredevil's Racing. Completes the pass. At five of 27 now. This is just at the next corner. And it's Mike Bell who's been tracked by Ernie Trask. Oh, Mike Bell's out of shape. Mike Bell very out of shape. And Trask is going to go through. And here comes number 11, Darren Ganji also. Ganji there closing in on Mike Bell just about on his rear quarter just as they get towards turn two right on the outside difficult to make a pass through there unless Mike Bell makes a mistake which looks like he's going to do so Mike runs wide Ganji slots the inside takes the high ground into turn three and up a position there for Darren but Philip and Tone are in tow behind them here is now Keithley and Nielsen Nielsen did drop to third after that first corner and he's been stuck behind Keithley ever since, ever since. Keithley the reigning champion in the World Super Deck Series, but last year in the DTM Modern R Factor, and he's lost the position though. Nielsen's gone through. Good pass there from Tommy Nielsen on Jack Keithley, but Keithley's fighting back. Never want to let a position lie. Jack Keithley, and he's going to slot down the inside of Tommy now. And going to cut back again. He's Tommy Nielsen on the exit. Great driving here from both of these excellent drivers. And Keithley now has the run again, of course, right in behind the Swede. Keithley pops out from underneath and slots down the inside at turn three, driving very, very deep indeed. Very deep indeed, almost went straight off the circuit, somehow managed to keep it on. He's now got the overlap. Will he have the overlap for the next corner? Yes, he does. Superb driving there as Keithy holds onto the car still, side by side, still cutting back upon each other. And it's Nielsen who comes out on top this time. Nielsen's ahead. Finally, that seems like it's resolved the situation. No, it hasn't, good. Keithy's back down the inside of Tommy Nielsen. Keithy back down the inside, and this time looks like Keithy has the position made. Keithley has the position made finally after a lap of side-by-side -side action. Keithley's ahead of Tommy Nielsen still. Oh, and here we are with Abbas and Johnson. And Abbas has taken out Johnson. And poor Brandon Warren 
lost those two positions to Paolini and Foss because Abbas just comes across the circuit and Paul Run has nowhere to go. Very poor driving there from Ihab Abbas. Ruined James Johnson's race. Very angry about that. Here is Henderson now in the number 91 and, and Sene around the outside. And Sene takes the position. Nice clean pass around the outside there. Yunt and Shepard for 12th place. Yunt in the Mazda 787B. Look at light skin. It's gorgeous indeed, but Shepard doesn't care about that. He's going round the outside and trying to take the position into turn three on the inside from David Yunt. Oh, it's still side by side. This track is providing great racing here today, and Shepard just eases Yunt out wide as Simons tracks this battle also. On ball with Schwartz. Looking back. Darren Ganji there on the left. Into the corner now. He's coming Van der Ven also. David Van der Ven has going to lose position to Ganji. Ganji with a great cutback on the exit. He's going to go past Schwartz also. Down towards turn two. And number 11, Darren Ganji goes up in position ahead of number 99, Kieran Schwartz. He's got full lock on around this corner, trying to get round. Trying to handle these, manhandle these beasts around this tight circuit. In that fast corner, Nielsen's gone for a surprise move on Keithley. Down the inside, Keithley leaves in plenty of space. It's a car width, and that's all, of course, that you need for racing. Now they're side by side, coming off the corner. And Callan's tracking it also as well, as they're side by side, side down the straight. And Callan's on the pusher pass going into turn three. He's closed right up behind those two. Just about. Holding on. Nielsen. Oh, to Keighley. Keighley's nudged the back of Nielsen. And Nielsen's gone straight off. And through goes Callan. Through goes Butcher also. He's certainly going to make a move there also on Jack Keighley. Here it is, we're going to see if he does make a move, and he does make a move down the inside, will he make it stick? He does, it's a forceful pass, but it's a nice pass, right down the inside, holding the cow, a bit of contact on the exit as well, the bits of debris go flying, and now Keith has to cover for Henderson also, comes back across the track, and then back across the track once again to take the corner. But that's, that's a fraught battle there, that's all for second position. Calamese is way out ahead. On board with McNaughton, he's following Keith Barry. He's got way out of shape, going out of the first corner. And McNaughton's going to get an easy run down towards turn three now. And that's an easy position there for McNaughton. Keith will be kicking himself for giving away that position so easily. The damage on his right hand side as well. He's clipped that wall on the exit of turn one, I believe, at some point. Now here is Simons. We're back in this battle between Yunt and Shepard. And Simons has been tracking this battle, of course. Yunt tried to cover, but Simons make a daring move down the inside on the straight. And number six, Simons, has gone up past David Yunt. And David Yunt back down those two. Oh, Simons out of shape on the exit, though. Does he keep ahead of Yunt? This is going to be close. This is the battle further around the lap. And Simons are trying to go around the outside of Shepard. Someone's locked their brakes heavily ahead of the, this group because there's plenty of smoke. Oh, contact! Between Simon, Simon is off. Simon crunches a barrier. Simon crunches a barrier around the outside of Chris Shepard. Oh, poor Evo Simons. Just got a bit of contact, got out of shape, and he absolutely demolished the front end of that Peugeot TBR car against the barriers. And Sene is off as well. Sene tried going, did a great move around the outside earlier on Henderson, but it's not worked that time around the outside line. And off the track he went. Oh, and contact again. Nielsen and Henderson, where is Henderson gone? Wow. Maybe Nielsen thought that was Keithley. But either way, that was crazy stuff there from Tommy Nielsen. Oh, and Nielsen tapped the back of Keithley as well. Oh, and now, of course, Nielsen slows down to try and get the position back to Keithley. I think Beesemann is going to go past. Keithley tries to get going. Where has Nielsen gone? Here is the replay of that incident. Nielsen just got into the corner a bit too hot. Tap the back of the smoke. Tap the back of Keith. There goes Beeson Mother on the grass. Here comes Yerman. He says, thank you very much, boys. I'll take those three positions. And through he goes. Nielsen come back at him, though. Oh, there's Beeson Mother come back at Nielsen. Beeson Mother right on the inside of his fellow German. Uh, Yerman, of course, and Nielsen's on the outside. He's a Swede. Oh, and Beeson Mother just squeezes... Nielsen onto the curb, they're trying to slow his progress, and it's worked, it's worked. Will Nielsen try and go back down the inside of Wiesemuller into turn one? He does, Wiesemuller tried to talk about covering, didn't dare do so though. There is Henderson right in the background. He'll be probably looking for revenge on Nielsen after him putting, 
Kunti himself himself off. And now Yerman and Nielsen. As Nielsen fights back. Down oh, the inside of the German. Oh! Yerman driving the car in very, very deep indeed. Trying to get the outside run. Doesn't look like it's going to work. No, it's not because he's got out of shape on the exit. And Nielsen is through. Nielsen's going to have to watch himself for the rest of the season here. Plenty of contact from him. And now here is Henderson recovering. He's trying to go past David Junt. And he's done so easily. Must have pushed a pass through there. Henderson continues his recovery. On board with... Junt? Surely not. On board with Wiesenmuller, perhaps. Is Wiesenmuller going? Yes, it was on board with Wiesenmuller. And they were going past Kenneth Yeoman. Got out of shape on the, on the grass out of turn three. And surrenders in position to his fellow German driver. Now, on board with Senna. There is Junt. This time it is Junt ahead of us. Alex Senna tracking David Junt. There is David Henderson ahead of these two. Oh, and Henderson out of shape. Wow, 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 wow. Out of shape. Hold on to that. Oh, he's got it back on the track somehow. And Senna somehow managed to get a run on him because there wasn't much space in the end left by that sideways car of David Henderson. And Junt's going to go and try. Go, going to go and try and get past. Damien Henderson also. Henderson is hanging tough around the outside. But the tyres are giving up. The tyres are giving up. Does he hold it to the inside of turn three? He's diving there, but no. Jung leaves a tiny bit of space and Jung is able to come through. As a result of that, now Oyala. He's driving alongside Dwight for this season. Once again, just like the V8 season, he's gone wide at the penultimate turn. And Pali's got the run down the inside into the final turn. Dino squeezing ahead, yes! Dino ahead, oh, there's someone off the track there, who is that? Couldn't quite catch it, that was one of the default, default skins. I'm not able to identify that, they went back too, too fast past that, uh, that number on the side of the car. Looks like, oh, Paulini's not held in position, he's got out of shape on the exit. And straight off he goes, and here comes Scott Webber joining the party. Back from Oyala. Oh, Palini breaks very, very late there. Here is. Oh, here is JJ Wang. Wow! JJ! Just about got out of the way as well. Senny! <laughs> very, very scared by seeing that ahead of him. Oh, and there is. That's Paulini off the track also. In a, still in that battle with Oyala. A bit of contact between those two. Here is Keithley trying to fight his way back through the field. He's got Keith Barrick ahead of him. He's just running wide, running wide at turn four, and that opens the door at turn five. And Jack Keithley didn't need, not need a second invitation there. Norton right in behind, Keith Barrick now. Keith must have passed with Norton again earlier in this race. That 20 of 27. Oh, Keith! Keith has clipped the barrier out of the exit. He's clipped the wall as a result also as well. And McNaughton's going to go past in the exact same manner that he went past earlier in the race. Number 65. Adrian McNaughton goes by number 41, Keith Barrick, oh, Keith is off, oh, it's a big mistake, oh, crunches the entire barrier as well, looks like he's got away with it though, looks like he's destroyed the back end of that car, right there he is recovering actually, just in behind, and here is Paulini and Weber. we saw Weber caught up to that battle between Paulini and Oyala, he wasn't able to, able to get past at that point, but he's able to get past right now, he sweeps around the inside, outside even, sorry, at turn four, Paulini now at turn five, and uh, sorry, the penultimate turn, turn six, and Weber's gone wide, Paulini has the corner. Oh, Paulini had the corner. Great, too late. And Weber goes back through once again. Oh, side by side. Paulini decided he wants to keep that bit of track. He just kept his nose in there. Weber gave him the space once he realised that he was there. Oh, contact again on the straight. Easy, boys. And Paulini, is he through? Oh, he's never certain on this track in this series at the moment. Paulini is trying to get the exit out. He has got the exit this time around. Surely. Not 24 or 27. It's Keithley and Wiesenmuller. Oh, Wiesenmuller straight on. He was defending and went straight on at the final turn. And that's an easy, easy pass for Keithley. And Wiesenmuller would kick himself for that. Oh, Wiesenmuller coming back at him. He's on the grass. On the grass. Keithley thought he had that line covered. And now Wiesenmuller is on the inside. Will he hold it this time around on the inside? No, he won't once again. Not able to do so. And Keithley comes back through and takes the position. But the winner of the race, 
and absolutely dominant performance from the pre-season favourite is Ivar Calamese for GT Omega Racing. He only took second of the grid, he was pipped up all by his teammate, but he's led right from the off. And it's a likes the flag finish for Ivar Calamese in race one of the first event. Second race coming up in just a couple of minutes. Second place was Chris Butcher, third place was Ryan Callum uh, rounding out that podium. Fourth place, Tommy Nielsen. Fifth place, Jack Heathy. Sixth place was Robert Wiesenmuller. Seventh place, Kenneth Yeoman. Eighth place was Adrian McNaughton. Ninth place is Alex Senna. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. And also Henderson, of course, in the wars. He came in tenth.